What's good, YouTube? My name is Monty. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be showcasing the finished product of my 10 gallon Tetra Serpe fish tank, guys. Let's go. <laughs> And voila, this is the finished product of my 10 gallon Serpe Tetra fish tank guys. As you can tell it is Spongebob Squarepants theme. I have a giant Spongebob statue right here holding his stomach. Spongebob's pineapple house. Squidward's Easter Island statue house looking thingy. I don't know the exact name. But yeah. And of course the Krusty Krab because they did not have Patrick's house which I was going to get because you know in the TV show it's Spongebob house on the far right Squidward house in the middle and it's Patrick's house on the far left. But they didn't have Patrick's house so I just decided to get the Krusty Krab. And they also didn't have uh, Sandy's Dome. If they had Sandy's Dome I would just get that instead of the Spongebob statue. But yeah, anyways, like I said before, this is a Serpe Tetra fish tank. These are Serpe Tetras. I have five of them. And they grow up to be 1.5 to 2 inches. And 2 times 5 is 10. And this is a 10 gallon tank. So it's perfect. I have five of them. Both to grow. Oh, not both. All five to grow to 2 inches. So, as you can tell, it is perfect. Also, about this plant, you guys can see that it has grown a lot. Well, if you watched the first video I did on this, you can tell that it has grown a lot. Like, look at that right there. Look at that. Matter of fact, let me just go up here. Look, it's still even growing up here. I had to bend it because it was going to be like going like out on top over the tank. So, I had to bend it to make sure it stays in there. And I might have to continue bending it. I don't know. But... All my plants are, well, both of my plants are real, alive, and natural. They are not fake. Because I heard that the real plants can actually help the fish and help the water. So, this is my plan. If you watched the first video I did on this, you can tell this has grown a lot. But yeah. Also, before I move to talk about this plant, because this plant has a story. So, before I move to talk about that plant, I want to explain because you guys might be confused on why uh some of the fish aren't here that i had before so if you watched the first video i had one black skirt tetra and two serpe tetras so one of the serpe tetras that was in that video is right there the biggest one right there that was the one that was in the video the other one died I don't know what happened. It just, I don't know. I came home from school, and it was dead. And anyways, yeah, it just died. Also, a couple of days after I made the video, the black skirt texture died as well, which I was upset about because I just had uploaded a video with the black skirt texture, and then it's going to immediately die after that. Like, it doesn't make sense. But I only had one serpent texture, or one fish survive, period. And he had to live by himself for a couple of weeks in this whole aquarium. Until yesterday, I finally got him four brothers. Well, I'm pretty sure brothers. I'm pretty sure they're all males. I don't think they're females. Comment down below if one of them are females. I have one, two. Also, I have three long fins and two short fins. I have a long fin right there, long fin right there, short fin long fin and another short fin right there so i have three long fins and two short fins now about this plant a few weeks after i uploaded the video after my serpe tetra died and my blaster tetra died and was only one left uh i already showed you jamie's back there and it was only one left i got a plant that was way smaller than this and it kept decomposing and breaking apart basically so like two weeks after it like kept breaking apart and getting stuck in the filter, I just took it all out and threw it all away. And yesterday I got a new plant. That's the same day I got my lone fish, four brothers, or I don't know, but four more fish to keep them company. 
and I also got this plant while I was there. As you can see, it's already growing. You can see that right there. It's already growing a little bit because it wasn't even this high when I put it in there yesterday night. And that's what I like about these real plants. They actually grow and they get bigger and it looks cool. It really looks cool. And the fake plants, I don't know. I just don't like them. I just don't like them anymore because I used to have them for my old fish tank about two years ago. But then I just grew out of it. I don't like it. I like real plants. They make the fish tank look better in my opinion. Also guys, the reason why I couldn't get all my fish the first time I got my fish tank set up, you might already know for you fish keepers out there. I had to let my tank cycle, obviously, or the fish was gonna die. Also, I had to let my ammonia go down. And the first time I went back, uh, the lady there said I could've gotten none, my ammonia was too high. Second time I went back, a couple weeks later, to get my water tested. The lady, it was a different lady, but she said that the water is still too uh, ammonia filled, contaminated, whatever. So I went back yesterday and it was a man that tested my water this time. And he said that I'm on. And it was a man that tested my water this time. And he said that my ammonia was gone. And he showed me how it was gone and like an example and stuff. So I was so glad that I could finally get my fish and I can get a new plant and stuff. And yeah, I fed them like uh, 30 minutes ago also. And as you can tell, they are all five healthy. One, two, three, four, and five right there. They are all five healthy. So guys, this was just a conclusion to my fish tank series. Even though I only had two videos, this is the second video, and most likely the last video I'm gonna make on my fish tank. I just wanted to conclude this and show you guys that my fish are doing good, and I'm gonna do my best to make sure they keep and stay doing good. And I'm going to feed them every day, you already know. If you have any tips about serpent texture care, then put it down in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. Anything to help my fishies stay well fed and cared for. That was two words. But yeah, anything to help out my fishies. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all of that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.